customer wanted all these palm trees out so we went ahead and dug them out we got uh, six big palm trees root balls and everything so first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the fronds um, they're gonna have to regenerate fronds if I leave them then we may transpire too much moisture which could kill the tree so the best bet is to just cut them off and the roots will pretty much just have to regenerate also because most of the roots do not survive but this is the proper way to do it I just want to show you all the extents of the damage done to the base of these root balls on these sable palms several of them since they were not properly dug out and they were pried out utilizing ropes and machinery lost a large amount of the root mass in fact some look like they were completely snapped off at the base like this one was however i wanted to give them all a fair shot and give them a chance to grow and that way we can at least better understand how much of the root systems were required for this tree to survive these trees were all doomed in the first place because the customer wanted them removed so I decided I'd give them a fair shot as well as being on a time frame and I popped them all out of the ground with the excavator and brought them here through uh, my loader truck and then this is the before my yard right here before I had planted any of them those are two successful both a pendo palm on the left and a tall sable palm straight ahead in the middle there that I successfully transplanted to give you all an idea of what the before shot looks like. Spent several time, um, several hours in the yard, took the course of two days after work and the utilization of a loader truck to plant these sable palms into the ground at night utilizing a spotlight. These are the uh, sable palms that we actually had went ahead and transplanted into the ground right here. There's the old sable palm that I planted last year. And this is them the following morning after they were all planted. After watering them in, some of the soil got loose and one of the trees actually fell over and I had to replant it. So instead of planting six stable palms, I was forced to plant seven because I had to replant one. But so far, they all look great where they are. I'm going to um, give an update video on this in probably two months and see if there's any growth on the foliage as well as seeing if any of them look like they've died back. So if you'll go ahead and subscribe to this channel, I plan on doing an update video here shortly in the future, probably in around two months. If it's already been two months, then look out on my channel and check out some of my other gardening videos on tips and tricks here in the homestead. And hopefully we'll see you again here. Best Gardens DIY. Thanks again. I'm your host, Alex.